everybody ready? Hey, there we go. So, uh, right. going to pick band, do you think uh, Wake Forest is going to change up their bands here? Uh, potentially. Um, the problem was there wasn't like a ton of just like standout picks in that last game that really made it hard. Nar is good. Azir may be a good band. Um, Sichuani is something you can pick away. That's just a very strong jungler right now. Her and Nunu are the two, I think, yep. top-tier junglers that are both worthy of being first picks if they're up. So you could go mm -hmm. for that. Swain being banned again here against Gold Stealer. No surprise there. Yep. Evelyn still banned. Satisfied. Oh. <laughs> And uh, one thing we did see escape the pig bands last time was Nunu. Yep. Just interesting. You mentioned he is one of the top two junglers right now, if not the top jungler. Yeah. But both teams passed him up. We'll see if either team wants him this game. Yep. Do you see the Azir band out as well this time around? There are a lot of great... Uh... So the big things with Nunu are basically he can now duel other junglers with the extra damage he gets from his well-fed buffs. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the synergy with the AP damage dealers. Which means you may see a lot of midlaners come out like Azir, like Corky. Um, well, not Azir, he's banned. Well, yeah, not Azir this game. But in, in general, <laughs> in general you may see yeah. Azir come out. Because um, they make use of both the attack speed boost and the uh, AP boost from the blood boil. Mm -hmm. Not to mention... The Ginsu's ADCs, they also get a small buff format. Well, the attack speed is the large part, that, but they also yeah. get some free AP. Kog'Maw and Jonah going to be the first pick here. Definitely looking like they may want to be supporting Hyper K, which means Nunu could get picked. Yeah. Never yeah, know. Jonna was banned last game. Yeah, Jonna was banned. Lulu was banned this time instead, I think. You see the Twitch hover. I'm Aj... Does play that a lot in solo queue. I think that was banned last game. I it can't was. recall exactly. It, it was yeah. banned in one of the places. Yeah. I'm Oz has been playing a lot of Twitch this season so far. Yeah, Twitch is a really interesting AD carry. He's like the the assassin AD carry. Uh, can roam into the other lanes, get those ganks off when they just really don't expect it. Ooh, Thresh going to be a pickup here for Dunt to Flash. Going to... Gonna help him get some good early picks into that lane. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see if they get level two first, and I assume they're gonna want to all in with an ignite there. It's really interesting to see some of these uh, thrash players come out. Since thrash, it's like if you're hitting every hook in lane, there's no way you lose. If you're not hitting any hooks, that it's pretty hard to win. Um, so we'll see. Ezreal mm. is the lock in for Wake Forest. I that's think that's interesting. For, it's probably for AD carry, but it does not a doesn't synergize great with Jana. It's okay. Yeah, because I mean it's okay. Yeah, it's just Jana is getting the Arden sensor and peeling for the hyper carries. But I mean Ezreal, by the nature of his E, he already can peel for himself pretty decently, especially if he also gets the Iceborne Gauntlet to go along with that. Yep. Uh, and we see the Zoe locked in. Ooh. Pretty high priority ban in the NA LCS. Yeah. See if, uh, how much work he can do here. We saw the Talon as a very, very, very brief hover. But uh looks like they're going for Rise instead. No surprise, Rise is uh, one of the best mid laners right now. Yep. Definitely a good mid laner. Very hard to make work, though, if you're not a, a Rise player. Back to the forge. Um, just a little bit of a, a higher skill cap champion. Hornban coming out against the Grack attack. That said, it's not that hard to make Rise work when all you have to do is sit in a side lane, push, and when they come for you, press your ult and Zonia's. Mm -hmm. Anyways. And the, uh, Sejuani ban. Wangfu, uh, had a pretty decent game on that last time. Uh, a little shaky in the ult accuracy, but he did pick up the win and did a good job in team fights. You, the best part about Sejuani now is when you miss the ultimate, you just get this massive slow field, and they can't escape the gank anyways. I mean, don't you get the massive slow field if you hit it too? I mean, yeah, but yeah. If, you, if you don't... There's the Nunu it. ban. Let's get it. Nunu banned. So at least it's, it got banned at all this game, instead of picked. 
<laughs> yep, the very last ban. Yeah, we actually see two jungle bans here. Jarvan's still up. Um, yep, J4 probably in the top three junglers right now, or top four? Top, top. I'm not entirely sure, but he's top three good in the jungle. The top okay. four in my mind are like Sejuani, Nunu, Jarvan, and Zack, basically. All right. Huang Fu uh, gonna take away the Kha'Zix from Ganked by. Ganked by did have a really good early game on the Kha'Zix last game. But Ganked by looking like he wants to respond with, uh, respond with the J4 here. Kha'Zix also a good uh, a pick for jungle. It's kind of like a little side pick on this top four. Like, yeah, you can pick these top four, or you can pick the Kha'Zix. The Kha'Zix has the ability to be really strong, but it also can be shut down. If you're playing around it, right? Oh, Vladimir the Hover here. What a... Yeah. What give Wake Forest comp a lot of magic damage between Gold Stealer Zoe and the uh, Grack Attacks Vladimir? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'm assuming the Zoe's mid lane and the Vlad's top. That's probably correct. I'm just gonna go with probably correct. Uh, not too standard to blind pick the Vladimir top lane, but it does have a decent matchup into a lot of things. And then we see the Shen come in for Drexel. Which opens up a... Ooh. This is basically a, a very heavy split-pushing team. <laughs> um, yeah. Lots of ability to make picks while the other team's rotating to deal with the split-pusher as well. Which is really yep. scary. It does allow with. Huang Fu... Oh. Yeah, it does allow Huang Fu to just jump in on Kha'Zix, and Chao's just there with the big old Shen shield and coming in too. Oh yeah, also true. Or alternatively, I'm Aj could be the Shen delivery. <laughs> oh yeah, submarine Shen, Shen ult. <laughs> There's like it used to be when Twitch had full invisibility, you could uh, disguise Oriana Ball on him and he could bring it into their team. <laughs> Why did I never do that? <laughs> oh, I'm like sad. there are also Reddit clips of people doing that with Shaco. Yeah, no, I was I did the uh, all. Twitch with Sunfires or whatever, back before Sunfire couldn't sack anymore. <laughs> that was great. Little, what was it, 13 year old me or something? Using my, uh, <laughs> using my double Sunfire Twitch. Yeah, Wake Forest, they do have a pretty decent poke comp here with the Ezreal and Zoe. And not to mention, if uh, Drexel ever engages, uh, Kameda can just Janna ulti them away. Yeah. Um, and even if they do engage, there's a decent amount of power in that Vladimir in those grouped up engages. <laughs> so we'll see. I think the big challenge they have to overcome here is just the split pushing. It looks like they, they're they set up for that with probably unsealed spellbook on both Zoe and Vladimir. Yeah, I assume that they unsealed spellbook Vladimir and not a ignite top Vlad. I mean, most Vladimir's would go unsealed spellbook regardless, so... Yeah. As it's like, Vlad just likes having the lower cooldown on Flash and Ghost. And there's not, like, a ton of great masteries for him. Like, you could maybe yeah. go Airy. Maybe. But then, like, I don't know. There's just but not a about, ton of oh, great options after maybe that. Maybe Electrocute. Maybe. Nah... I don't know. I think the uh, domination tree is not that great for a lot of mages. It's yeah. okay, but like, like, there's no way for him to pop sudden impact or a cheap shot, right? So yeah, yeah, it has to be like taste of blood and then um and the then healing you're... one. Yeah, you're you're basically overdoing the healing at but... that point. I think. Well, actually, no. He could go for the item cooldown one for a lower CD on Zanya's and a uh, proto belt. True. Uh, he'll probably already have the lower CD on Zanyos from Stopwatch, though. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, though. I mean, yeah. Well, Unsealed Spellbook is most likely here. Yeah. Well, Actually, we might see... Out if... those boats, though. Now I want to try, like, super healing Vladimir now, you know? Taste of Blood <laughs> and uh, Ravenous Hunter. And Triumph. And then just cry when they get Executioners. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Oh well, at least you still do damage. Yeah. And got about 30 more seconds till we get into game. Not too much longer to go. Yeah. 
I doubt there'll be much action level one unless uh, Drexel decides to go in with a flash thresh flay or a thresh hook. Nah, no, dude, Twitch is gonna go invisible and flank them from behind. <laughs> It'll be over the the <laughs> Twitch flank. They're then when they try and burst him, he just heals. <laughs> Exactly. Oh no. No, 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 they take Lantern never, level 1 yeah. too. They take Lantern level 1. We never accounted for this extra 100 effective health on this Twitch level 1. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Twitch puts a ward down, Shen teleports to it, and then he uh, <laughs> he pops the, the dodge field on top of Twitch. So Twitch just doesn't die. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Twitch stealth goes into try and drops a ward for Shen to TP too, and they all just blast them when they come through level 1. <laughs> Let's do it. I want to see it now. Oh, oh well, loading into game. Oh, we see Comet on uh, Gold Stealer Zoe. Interesting. Comet does a lot of damage on Zoe, actually. Yeah. It's pretty easy to proc in lane. Um, does Comet pop your bubble though? No, it does not. Okay, good. Because so the you, yeah, you the initial the, bubble doesn't do damage. Yeah, you hit the bubble, they're guaranteed to get hit by the comet, and then you hit them for two thousand damage. Because everybody loves that on a champ. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Not sulky about Zoe whatsoever. Uh, yeah. no, I didn't. It just looks weird. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's the Shen sword. Shen sword, but no Shen. I love how the uh, spawn-in animations are desynced on blue and red side, so that you see blue side all spawn in, directed camera takes it straight to red side to see them all spawn in too. Ooh, we got eight stopwatches this game. And uh, my, my <laughs> game took the really minion dematerializer. De I keep almost saying militarizer. <laughs> yeah, it just makes them, it gives them assault rifles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, but it's dematerializer. Oh, wait, they spawn out the Ingevade. Pop down two wards, because two is better than one. Ah, oh, but they split their focus. Yeah. They might have been able to get one of those wards. Right. SP Diamond's able to get a uh, Klepto proc there, sitting on a stack of gold. Yeah, he got 50 gold out of that. Er, so, no, 45, because it's 5 from Klepto. 45 gold out of that. Yeah. Back to the minion dematerializer, though. Uh, it is pretty good on Rise. Let's him spread those spell fluxes more easily. I'm actually kind of surprised we didn't see it on Zoe as well. That's been shown to be a, uh, a popular choice among pro players recently on the champion. Yeah. Am I... Oh my god, I didn't change the scene. I'm terrible at this. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, what tree... What a section of the tree is meaning the materializer in? Or no, it's not the same as Stopwatch, okay? Because, uh, my gay has both. Man, I feel bad. First stream and I make a mistake on changing scenes. <laughs> Ganked by getting a big release from his bot lane. Alright, everybody, everybody in chat, you gotta lobby for getting me, somebody just run the stream for me, so I don't have to uh, do it myself while I'm casting. Yeah. Swear to god, I make mistakes every time. I'm hired time. as a caster. Yeah, I'm a caster, not a stream moderator. I'm not a producer. <laughs> I'm a producer for a professional League of Legends stream. Oh yeah, dude. I'm gonna miss on SB Diamonds there. No, give me Steven Spielberg. <laughs> we need only the yeah. best talent for our production. <laughs> Just got Michael Bay in, he swaps the teams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, the explosion transition. I need it. And then there's just like product placements all over screen. It's like, this Mountain transition Zoo. brought to you by Coca-Cola. Oh yeah. <laughs> dude, I'd be making so much money. Or maybe maybe it all go to Michael Bay. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, Michael Bay probably doesn't work cheap. So whatever little money we get from the uh, stream, we get we get no money from the stream. Maybe, yeah. maybe from the product placements. But oh well. Yeah, we could probably get a Red Bull. Oh, sponsor. flashes Ooh, forward from the Zoe almost immediately. The uh, drowsy gets quenched though. Rip. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Well, first bit of action in this game. Oh yeah. Good no. flash there from my gay. To break up the monotony of talk about Michael Bay directing this Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I was having fun talking about Michael Bay, though. Oh, well. I know. S most lanes pretty even so far. Vladimir's got a decent lead over Shen, though. Keeping this 
pushed in. Drowsy lands again. No coins this time. And, uh, sleepiest block of minions. Uh, yeah. Directed camera took me to view a bot lane CSing party. Yeah, I, I went to bot lane and I got to come back to see the, the, what is it called? Paddle star? I'm just hitting to the, uh, melee minions. Yeah. Interesting. I'm Osh went over heal. I don't know if you even see that too much anymore in ADCs this patch without Relic. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Maybe with the support having Relic? Yeah, so I tried it one game. We have Kha'Zix running in to Vladimir on the top lane. I uh, just forced the flash out. Um, but Vladimir overall heals from that exchange. Mm -hmm. But going back to the overheal talk, I tried it one game this patch. I had a bard support, and it basically only really gave me a decent field of several shrines. Mm. So I guess you'd have to make it work with um, a healing support like Son or Soraka. Yep. I'm not I've seen Nami sure. recently popping up a decent amount. Maybe that could work. We'll see. Okay. It looks no. like we have a pause. I think the pause is oh. broken out. Cause I okay, see, I, see I the... was wondering why... Yeah. I see the chat okay. message for somebody who's paused the game. Usually there's this big overlay, though. I'm not sure why the overlay's not showing up this time. I don't know. Glitch in the client. Because I was legit panicking for a second. Like, oh, no. Did my stream... Did my uh, client freeze? Oh, well. Probably just some uh, issues for a player. And we're back. Okay. Not too long of a pause. Not like one of those ten-minute epics. Yep. We, we've pretty had this. Calm. Yeah, pretty yeah. calm so far. Aside for the uh, two ganks. Yeah, no, most lanes relatively even. Two flashes popped, and a cleanse that's now available again. You know, comes online in less than a minute. Stopwatches, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and then we'll see this fast increase in action. Baby, yeah. Yeah. Granted. Oh, we see Listen, Zoe no. get popped in here in the mid lane, pops her heal, but she's dead. First, like, going over to Huang Fu on the Kha'Zix, yeah, pretty good that, for him. Yeah, not having that flash from the uh, first attempt at a gank kind of hurts there, especially when your eyes can now flash in onto her. Mm -hmm. Yep, flash, rune prism. And then Rudolph Cold Stealer wasn't exactly gonna escape that gank. It was also a uh, empowered win prison or whatever. When it, win prison isn't used on the spell fluxed target, it does double in duration to one second. Oh, baby. So, we'll just still for a while. Too bad she didn't pick up a cleanse from the. Uh... Oh, look at this! Ambushed! He's gonna die! Oh, he's dead so fast! Second one for oh. Huang Fu flashes the mastery. Sweetie trouble bubble lands, but the Q too far away. No ultimate available. Zoe has a challenging a smite, but I can go use it. I don't know, man. He could go in with the chilling smite, set up a bubble, get an easy solo. Yeah. I don't Quinn know. sitting on the ground. Zoe, maybe you'll avoid the next gank with that. We will see. Mm -hmm. Well, Mage is zoning him out of that right now. Yeah. Does go away. Now, sad. Oh, well. Did you see a CS lead developing for a Mage in this mid lane? Gotta be pretty happy as a Rise, since Rise does scale well. Definitely a, a good scaler. Good split pusher now. Yeah, top lane and bot lane have been pretty quiet though, outside of the one game top lane from Huang Fu. It's like, Shen both teams, yeah, both teams just agreeing to farm it up. Yeah, Shen's managed to catch up in CS a little bit as well. He has the, uh, spe uh Spectral Cowl, Spect so he's gonna yeah. be able to, uh, yep. sustain a little bit from the constant harass from Vladimir. Yeah, not to mention just the fat chunk of magic, so it's gonna help again. all of Crack attacks damage, safer autos. Yep. And we all know the Vladimir autos is really what you need Ooh, to go for. Ooh, by coming bot lane. Yep. I'm Oj manages to get his uh, stealth out. SB Diamonds uh, blocking gank by there, but yep. 
Chow actually out trading Vladimir pretty significantly here in the top lane. And we do see a potential blue buff steal here for Huang Fu on this Kha'Zix. Yep, that's going to be it. We'll see if a Mage is able to come by and pick that up. Unless he already has this. Nope, he does not. Yeah. It's not going to be an answer available for Jarvan right now. <laughs> yeah. He has his own red. <laughs> he no. get, does get spotted out by this ward as well, just out of range of that control ward they had. In the bush. Oh, SB Diamonds ulting the wave so he can back. Definitely wants to get his tier right now. Yeah. I... Really get a recall stopping there from Drexel. Yep, they are going to be able to push that into turret. And that's a cannon wave, I believe, as well. Uh, it being a cannon wave does mean it's gonna take a little bit longer for everything to die. So as you'll actually still probably won't get back in time. Yeah, it's just this. stopping his recall is pretty good. Well, better on as better against Ezreal than other ADCs since he is so reliant on stacking his tier ASAP. The yeah. longer you delay him from getting tier and starting to stack that, the longer you delay his crucial two item spike. Yep, he did go back and to get both tier and Sheen. Um, I actually don't like that build, and I heard uh, Sneaky talking about this the other day on the LCS cast as well. Uh, lots of um, the better Ezio players will go for Mana Mean first. Actually, Jarvin's gonna die here. Stopwatch used, but uh, it doesn't matter. Zoe got flayed and is forced to flash away at the same time. Yeah, but going back to that Ezreal point about Mana Mooney. Yeah, no, actually, no. Stop watching the mid lane. Two flashes used. Flay misses. Does use her ultimate to get away briefly, but dies immediately afterwards. But back to the important discussion, which is actually, no, Shen's going in the top lane now. <laughs> and we fight. They're taking down that turret. They're taking down this turret. I think they're just sensing you, like, Skyrim. Yeah, no, I want to talk, talk about, about Ezreal builds. Ah, I played, like, 700 games of this champion. I want to talk about it. Um. <laughs> No, going for the mana mean first is oh, what a lot of AD carries actually prefer because they'll uh, they have more attack damage. It's something like fifty or uh, sixty attack damage on that item. Yeah, um, like I personally prefer mana moon first because the extra attack damage just makes CSing much easier. Because if you got Sheen, then like your only damage is if you Q. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and also, it stacks up the tier faster. You can get a tier at like something like seventeen or uh, mirror mana rather at like seventeen minutes. Um, which is insanely minutes. fast. Yeah. Because 20 minutes is considered good. Exactly. Also, first tower did fall in the mid lane. Which is pretty crucial, since that is, of course, the most powered tower. And, uh, we got about... 3.5-ish gold... 3.5k-ish gold lead here. Yep. Oh, g wow! Okay. Direct camera did not care about that at all until it happened. Uh, I'm hey, look, he died. Just Back dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> cataclysm into the ground. Uh, so that's going to be a dragon attempted here for the side of Wake Forest. We see some people around. They could potentially go for the 3v4 fight. Sleep Trouble Bowl does land onto Thresh. You see the Jarvan come in. Ignite's onto Thresh. Maybe going to go down, Ooh. but the Shen ulti comes in here. That's a taunt onto the... Oh, that hurts. Come in tonight. So is the one to get hit there. Uh, first stopwatch away. And now they're behind a turret that they don't want to be in. Uh, we see the X and Fox, uh, though. Uh, <laughs> gets over the wall, but goes down. Commander Nagito also going to go down here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, maybe he gets out. It's possible. Mm, oh. Cool. oh, but he gets hit by the Tiamat to die. Really good answer there from uh, Drexel against that dragon. That was what, three for O or four for O? Uh, three, three for O. Three for one. If you don't count the uh, AD carry, if you count the AD carry. Right? Oh right. Good trade back. Oh, Kazis is in this jungle though. He's going to try to kill this dragon instantly, and he does. That's a four O and three Kazix. Almost one hundred percent kill participation. So he's having yeah. a great time. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We see a 2k gold lead alone on Huang Fu here, and gold lead is growing and starting to snowball a bit for uh, Drexel here, similar to last game. Yep. 2k gold lead for the jungle, 2k gold lead for the mid laner as well. More even in the other lanes, but uh, those two lanes, just wow.
Insane gold beads at 12 minutes. Although I guess it's 13 now. Mm -hmm. Whoa, nice sleepy trouble with Bulbasaur Snipe. Did hit all the way through this wall. There so is a 41 CS lead in this mid lane though for Magay. Magay. And yeah. also interesting, uh, Magi opts for the Rod of Ages instead of the Abyssal Mask. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, that's a hook onto Janna. She kills herself by plugging <laughs> into the box wall. Um, that hurts a little bit. But uh, going back to this mid lane build, uh, some Rises recently have been picking up the Abyssal Mask, and it wouldn't it wouldn't be too surprising this game against a a Zoe Vladimir. Yeah. Exactly. Alright, Hook comes in on to Ezreal. He has to E away, and he's going to be forced to stopwatch here and die immediately afterwards. Alright. Uh, stopwatch forced in the top lane. That's not going to help you, dude. You're still stuck there. <laughs> um, he's going to take some damage here. Going to run into Wait. turret, though. And uh, there's no way he lives, right? There's no way he lives, right? He might be out. All right, no, he gets kind of wasn't. And the Jarvan gets the kill. Arm to him. Oh, that was, that not was a lot flash. expended for a single kill, though. They didn't even use a flash streak. What you talking about? We need to use an ultimate or two. It's fine. Yeah. It's just while that was happening, uh, Drex on the other side of the map was picking up a return. Yeah, no, that's that's that is true. They wasted a lot of time there, um, getting that kill. So great job by Shen. Yeah to make that take as long as possible. Yeah, and ganked by opting for the warrior enchantment ex instead of the Cinder Hulk enchantment. Like, I assume Cinder Hulk would probably be more favorable here, considering how A, his team is behind him, and B, he is his team's frontline. So just having that extra damage, because you have two soul laners who are both damage focused, and of course an ADK. So your yeah. team doesn't really need too much more damage. Yep. I mean, it looks like he's going for like a uh, warrior into full tank build. At least judging by the yeah. Randuins he's building right now. I think it's the Randuins. It's probably Randuins. Should be Randuins. Um, I don't think there's anything else that builds out a giant spell into cloths. Uh, you never know what people do, man. They could be going for the giant spell into frozen heart. You never know. Anyways, um, Vladimir and Shen duking it out here. Shen now dealing a significant amount of damage with his pretty aggressive build of three tier two items. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Oh, Hulk lands onto think... Janna. She's, I think, doomed. Oh, wait, no, the ultimate comes in. She takes a decent amount of damage there, but the, yeah, there's a Kha'Zix that gets killed with the expunge. Kha'Zix is going to go for this Ezreal. Does do a little bit more, and uses the Shen ultimate to get away with taking almost nothing. That's a huge shoot on that Shen ultimate, too. It's 600 HP, it looks like. Yeah, because it is based on missing health now. Well, it scales with missing health. Oh. I did not know that. I thought it just go to total health. Yeah, they just uh, nerfed that a while ago. They're like... In wow. We wanted to nerf Shen for a pro play, but leave him intact for solo queue. Yeah, no, that's makes sense. I just didn't know that. Must have missed that patch note. Yeah, this was like a while ago. Like early last season or late season six, maybe? Makes I sense. Can't remember. Uh, Shen's teleporting to the bottom lane. Uh, coming out? Jarvan is here at the time, though. Could potentially see another gank onto him. He's going to go aggressive onto Vladimir. EQ Fire Drag is not available, but the Cataclysm is. He's stuck in there. He has no taunt available. I mean, still taking a lot of damage though, is forced to pull, gets the heal from his ultimate. But Shen, coming back to his tower with nothing to stop him at this point. Yeah, Chow gonna get out of this one, uh, threatening to kill Grack attack there. Oh, wait, Jarvan goes Game back in, misses the flag and drag. But, but yeah, the flash is here though. Oh, gets taunted. That's going to be a pretty. G oh, wait, no, flashes away from a player death sentence that may have followed up. And that's going to be Chow going down and down to flash, also going to follow there. As your ulti misses everything, he gets knocked up by the John Tornado and actually flashes over there. So we're going to try to finish that off. 
but taking a lot of damage from the Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix gets the kill. Rai is also teleports in. He gets the kill onto Jarvan. Drag attack's going to be the next one going down. That's a double kill for uh, Kha'Zix. Rai is teleporting in, uh, but the flash from Commander Nagito over the wall does get yep, him out of so. there. Twitch coming in, looking for something. There's now a 9k gold lead here for Drex, so they've officially snowballed really hard. Got a 6-0-5 Kha'Zix and a 6-0-4 Rise. It's really scary. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, this is this is going to be hard. <laughs> it's 3-15, to 0-3 turrets. 18 and a half minutes in the game, that's a 4,000 gold lead in the middle lane, and they're pretty close to that in the jungle. Rai is almost taking yes. down Ezio instantly. Yeah, my guy, he's, he's doing a lot of damage on this Rise. This is an extra needlessly large rod. Yeah, you know that's going to build into. Doesn't Grab even bounce. need to go for the Zonias yet. It still has the stopwatch thing in his inventory, unbroken. Uh, Jarvan uh, caught farming in his jungle. Flagon drags out, but... Uh, Wow, he, he did it. Man. Good job from him, Zoe. That is such a feels bad, man, when you're the jungler, though, and your team's this far behind. Yeah, like, going really into your farm. jungle and farming a camp, that's overextending. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like, what do you do? Just sit around and look pretty? No, you put down a ton of wards, though, dude. Um, Zoe gets caught by distance, dies pretty instantly. Uh, Zoe mm -hmm. is a very you switchy see, uh, 2-3-0 coming out from the side of Drex here. Er, well, 3-3-0 if you want to count the Reptailed. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, looks like I'm going to see the push into the middle lane. That sentence comes out, doesn't connect, but it is going to cure the turret. Vladimir managed mm -hmm. to take down the Reptailed in the top lane. And, and on the side of Drex, they still have all their ultimates here if they decide to fight. Yeah, they do. So, definitely looking for those plays. I'm not gonna back up. Oh, well, Sleepy Trouble Bubble lands onto the Shen. Uh, manages to taunt, so he dodges the Q. Flagon Drag comes out from Jarvan, looking for the Cataclysm onto Twitch. He does get it. The Stand Unit comes in with the Stopwatch also coming out. Vladimir is going to try to do as much damage as he can, but Jana almost gets taken down instantly. Uh, not sure exactly what did that damage. Probably Kha'Zix. Probably a mix of Imaj and Huang Fu there. But things are looking really grim here for the side of uh, Wake Forest. Yeah. 13 yeah, to get down back, at 20 minutes. To get back into this game, they have to have some sort of miracle team fight and then just get Baron to stall it out longer. But even then, they still have a decent long road ahead of them. Yeah, and I mean, like, Ezreal doesn't scale as hard as Twitch. Rise scale is no very well in the late game. Uh, Zoe also scales decently in the late game as well. Um, but probably not quite as hard as Rise. Let's wait for if Wake the, Forest. Uh, Shen can block a lot of those Paddle Stars. Yeah, and luckily for Wake Forest this time, uh, they don't have to worry about a Triple Infernal going over to Drexel here. Yeah, Huang Fu trolling his AD carry. Using everything he can to uh, steal that red buff away. Hey man, you gotta pad the CS score. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's totally I'm... about the CS, it's not about sending a message or, you know, yeah. getting the red buff. He gets 6-0 on this Kha'Zix, so... Uh, Kha'Zix does as most they can to try to kill that uh, Jarvan, but gets hit by the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Jarvan just barely lives there, it looks like. We see the taunt come in from the Shen. Uh, Sleepy Trouble Bobo lands on to Kha'Zix again. We're going to see the Paddle Star not go onto that target. Uh, we see the knockup come in on. Okay. Gold Steeler is dead instantly. Uh, your ultimate doesn't actually get you away from danger, it just puts you back there a second later once they're ready to set up. That was a 4v5, by the way. Vake is currently in the bot lane pushing. That's what Rises do, man. Yeah. Did you get the memo? It's just, their gold lead is so huge right now. Yeah. Mage has 600 AP at 22 minutes. <laughs> I think that's one of the highest AP builds you can get. Like the a bit Seraph's Embrace with the Rod of Ages with the Rabbit's Death Cap. Yeah, um, well, excluding Vagar, of course. But yeah, obviously. But like, of, out of three items cheap. alone, that's a pretty high AP build. Thresh taking some damage on his own in the top lane, but 
Joey goes down in exchange. Gresh actually gets away. You now Twitch is trying to 1v4. Uh, oh, does get it. Kazis is there as well. Um, that's another kill. Guys came in at some point. Got a kill there. We got him here running from everybody. Yeah, Mark, Mark A ulting himself and Hong Fu in. Vladimir's got to get that 1-1-1 one, one, one so he can say to his whole team, like, I'm the only one with a positive KDA. But, yeah, nope. he's, he still has it. He still has it. I mean, like, eh, it's 1.0 KDA. It's not positive anymore. I mean, it's positive. It's not, like, good. Yeah, this should be game. I mean, everything's a positive KDA. You can't get a negative KDA. Like, it's, everything's got to be above zero, so. I mean, less than 1.0 is considered negative. Well, <laughs> Greater than one, greater one than one point zero would be positive. Then, in which case, one point zero is not positive. Anyways, next is going down. Good job to Drexel yeah. in their first game of the EEC. Secures their first win in a pretty convincing two and O series.